Giving, welcome, in the name of Yeshua. Now, last week I talked about the eclipse and showing that there's nothing really to fear about the eclipse. People freaking out, going, ah, you're freaking out about the eclipse and stuff. But today I'm going to talk about something really interesting related to the, the eclipse. Well, that is what the Bible code says about the eclipse. Now, what Bible code says about an eclipse is totally different than anything you've ever, ever heard here on the internet right now. Anything. So we're going to show you what I found and I researched on the Bible code, what the eclipse. We found, I found that the eclipse is mentioned in 2 Kings chapter 22 to 25. We skip to from 1 to 61, which is a tight skip. I want to make it tight, almost impossible to find. And this code is very interesting what it says. Because it, it, it says spring of 2024, which is years this year, spring, it has a, April 8th. This has got the exact time and date encoded right there. Then the code is coming Solar darkness. So it talks about solar darkness. What is the eclipse? The eclipse is solar darkness. So it is a is a sign of revival. So the Bible code is saying that the eclipse coming in on this date is a sign of revival, which is which is really good. We need revival. It's a sign of the revival. But then again, it goes on to say. The, that is eclipse is also a sign of a climbing white rider of a bowl bringing war, riots, earthquake, and death. It says that many people will fear and will seek Jesus. Then it goes on to talk about the uh, the Lamb opening uh, the first seal, second seal, third, you know, so far. And it, it, it's, it's interesting that it's coded the sixth chapter of letter to John in Revelation as he quoted in that. So it sounds like he's trying to tell us that all this is, the eclipse is related to the sixth chapter of Book Revelation. But then there's a catch to this. There is one catch to this. They're also encoded, encoded with the word foreshadowing. That's encoded with this. So it's, this says that the eclipse, the solar eclipse, is going to be a foreshadowing of this coming into pass. God's warning us for he does it. See, if you look at the, the, the foreshadowing here, that the coming solar darkness, the Bible code talks about coming darkness, it's foreshadowing the darkness coming in the birth on the tribulation period. But also this this past week and stuff and also this coming week there will be probably more earthquakes. They have earthquakes now we mentioned earthquakes last fall if we're talking about the coming year what the Bible code says is going to be happening this year. So everything I talked about last fall talking about what the Bible code says is happening now. So that's is really interesting. We see what we were talking about six months ago, or four months, for what is, and it's coming past now. So the Bible code is telling us what's going to happen. The Bible code is also telling us that this is a foreshadowing of Christ opening the letter and the scrolls, the seals and the scrolls, because we see they're going to, we're going to see a lot coming earthquakes. You're seeing earthquakes this week in New York, you got Taiwan. I think Togo and other places. But also, the earthquake is going to increase this year because it's a sign of the times and the age. So we, we see a lot of things coming to pass. We see Israel and war and people on, the, across the world are coming up against Israel because they want to side with killers. <laughs> I don't know why also what the sign against Israel, but... You see all this demonic power coming past. We have the most demonic president and 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 Congress and stuff we've ever had in, in history of the United States. We have a president comes out 
and he calls it calls a transgender day on Easter, which is really bad because he can't. He's out mocking God. So we have a president now mocking, openly mocking God, and siding with demonic forces. So this is very all part of this, all this stuff's coming to pass. Then we have a movie come out Friday about talking about civil war and the, they were trying to the, the liberals and stuff trying to pass legislation to attack people. So we you see the Christians coming on attack. We see people talking about civil war, unrest. We see all this coming to pass. And this is the Bible calls talk about this unrest and riots and earthquakes and 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 the uh, unrest. So we see all this coming together, which is a, a big warning that we're approaching a time when Christ is going to be coming back. So we have to understand we are living in biblical times right now. Everybody says, I want to, which is what I lived in biblical times back then. Well, we're living in times right now. What times we are living in are times people only imagined and visioned years ago. When I was a kid growing up, I never imagined I'd be living in the world now. People will be arrested for praying. People would be put in jail for protesting for their rights. People would be, be uh, shadow banned and attacked because of their faith. People would be instituted and because of their faith. We see people all across the country and across the world attacking one another in riots and wars and destruction. We see this trying to escalate. So we see all this escalating. It's like Chuck Messer said, I challenge anybody to tell us that we're not living, that the Bible's, the Bible prophecy, it was said the Bible prophecy is now telling us is happening more than any time in history. A lot of the end times is not happening. We see uh, Israel being abandoned by the United States and the world because they, the world wants to support terrorists and killers and, and rapists and stuff because evil is permeating the world. <coughs> and we see that's, a, that's a definitely a part of prophecy. We see prophecy out of prophecy coming true. It seems, it seems to be escalating. And that's what the Bible code here is talking about, that we, this is a foreshadowing of all this coming out with chapter 6 of Genesis, I mean, Revelation. So we have, you know, the writer's apocalypse are now, you know, are approaching closer and closer every day. So as, soon as, as soon as the Lamb with Jesus Christ opens the, the seals, these writers are going to come out. And they're, this is going to be escalated. So this is, the, the, the eclipse now is a marker in time that is showing us that the times are coming. So the, the eclipse tomorrow is, this week, is a marker in time. Something not to really fear, but to take note, God's using this sign as a marker in time to notify us and to tell us to get our lives straight, to pick a side, to pick a lane. Okay, it's now time to pick your lane. Are you going to be with God or are you going to be the demonic forces? Today is the day to pick your lane. If you, you know, this is time to, of division. It's just time. You got to go with what you want to have faith in and belief in. So there's no riding the fence anymore. We are either we, we got to get off the fence, and you got to pick a cho choice. Because you know, it's like we said last fall. This this year is going to be a year of, of of fences and dividing and hedges putting you know picking. People on this pick, pick sides, and this is you now we see these coming true and true and more. So now is the time for, to salvation. It's time to repent, turn your life to Christ, because we are living in times that are going to escalate into 
the end times. We're not in the tribulation period yet, but we're heading that direction at alarming speed. So this week, ask yourself, am I ready for Christ's return? Am I ready to make a decision for Christ? Am I ready to live for Christ? Am I ready to die for Christ? Are you ready to take up a cross and follow Christ? Or are you going to follow the path of demonic and support all this evil stuff that the liberals and stuff trying to pu push on to people? And we have to understand we have to pick a lane. God's asking you today to pick your choice. So what is your choice? you got to make that this week. Have a great week. May God bless you. Take care.